the side, dude. Hey guys, so I have kind of changed up my nighttime routine and I thought that now would be a kind of fun time to show you guys what I do. So, okay, this first step isn't one that I would typically do before my shower, but I got a face mask from The Ordinary and it's supposed to really help clear your skin. First, you have to cleanse your skin though and kind of clean it. So to do that, I use the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I absolutely love it. This is all the credit took from my face. Disgusting, I know. So this is the mask that I use. It's a healing solution from The Ordinary. It was literally $8. So you just apply it to your face. It doesn't actually peel off. You just wash it off like in the shower and you only leave it on for 10 minutes because otherwise like it can kind of make your face start feeling like it's gonna, like it's burning, which it does. That is true. I did it last night. It says you shouldn't do it more than twice in a week and it didn't really do anything. So I'm thinking either I didn't apply it enough or my skin is just so bad that it was like, yeah, girl, literally cannot help you. It's easy to put on, like, it, I mean, it's just like putting on, um, like, a serum. It makes your face super red. I can tell now it's already, like, stinging. Last night when I put it on, I didn't cleanse my face, which I really should have, but I just didn't really think about it. So, anyways, I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes, and then I hop in the shower. After taking a nice warm shower, I'm so tired. Also, my skin looks kind of red still from that face mask. So hopefully I didn't stain my skin, but if I did, honestly at this point, who cares? I got one of these cute little headbands at Ulta the other day because I've seen a lot of TikTokers wear them when they're doing their makeup routine or like their nighttime skin routine. And honestly, I just thought it was like really cute. So I got it. I feel kind of dumb with the bow on my head, but you know what? It is what it is. Okay. So I don't cleanse my skin again after my shower because it really probably doesn't need it because I cleansed in the shower. But I do use this uh, skin conditioner. I got it in my peel bar because I love Asian skincare. And honestly, I really do like this. It just kind of freshens up my skin a little bit. It's a moisturizer as well, or like it helps moisturize your skin. And honestly, I just kind of feel like after my shower and stuff, I need a little extra moisturizing. Okay. Okay, so after that, I go in with this Coco Kind Ceramide Berry ceramide barrier barrier serum sorry i cannot talk um nourishing daily serum for skin barrier support it is a vitamin c serum which is good for your skin i guess i had used one before a vitamin c serum that i really like however now for the life of me i cannot remember which brand it was what exactly it was called anything like that so i've been trying a whole bunch of different brands and stuff and i just can't find the one that i had really enjoyed um i know it was in like a brownish bottle, but genuinely that's all I remember. After that, I use the La Roche Posay uh, Double Repair Matte Moisturizer. It's for oily or combination skin, which I definitely have. I've heard that if you have oily skin, it's because you're not moisturizing enough, which like, I, I mean, I do understand because like if you're not moisturizing enough, your skin is creating more oils to compensate. However, even when I do moisturize more, I still have oily skin and pimples. So this stuff is supposed to help like your skin look more matte and not oily. Um, I so far have really liked it. I've heard that this La Roche stuff is really good for you from dermatologists on TikTok. I've considered getting a little bit more of the skincare line um, that they have and I was like maybe if I use more of their products it'll work better together and my skin will clear up a little bit. But then since I've started using the Ordinary um, peel face mask thingy, I was like well maybe I try that stuff because it's only like eight 
dollars. I mean, I bought the mask and then like a skin cleanser and it's also a hair cleanser that I have in the shower and that was only $8. So their stuff is very cheap and I like cheap. That is what I do for my skin. Then for my hair, I just try to get rid of the headband bump that I get. I quit wearing mascara because my allergies have really been bugging me and my eyes are so dry and I have to put in more um, eye drops during the day. And I was like, you know what? It's just not worth it wearing mascara right now. I get my hair all smooth back. And I'm just gonna like this and hope that my part is kind of centered. So I've decided to quit coloring my hair and it's grown out a lot, except now it's kind of at an awkward halfway point where I'm getting close to having half dark hair and half blonde hair. So it looks really messed up. And I considered going to the gal that does my hair cause she does a phenomenal job and asking her to like color match the blonde stuff with my new growth so that way you know as it grows out it looks less weird but then i was like well in the summer i am outside a lot and it really bleaches my hair and gives me like blonde streaks anyways so i was like maybe i just try really hard to be outside and bleach like my hair just naturally that way from being in the sun I don't know, but my hair needs to get healthy and grow back a little bit more because I was really harsh on my hair for a little bit because of some color mishaps that I unfortunately had. So I'm just trying now to like let it heal, let it go. I try not to apply any heat to it and that's made a big difference. Um, So I, I really just like baby my hair, but like the stuff around my face gets like, it just comes in blonde. So I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna go to bed now. So that is my updated nighttime routine. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe, only if you want to. If you don't, I fully understand. Uh, but thanks for hanging out with me tonight and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Bye guys.